Welcome to Sydney Science Education and the What's in Your Backyard series. Today we're going to make a frog hotel or frog tubes. It's important to think about the frogs that live in your backyard by listening and researching what frogs are there. So not all frogs are going to live in a pond. So frog hotels are a great alternative to bring frogs into your backyard. So today I started getting some PVC pipes. I got these from Bunnings, already cut down to one metre length. I was able to get a variety of sizes, uh, diameters for different size frogs. I also got a plastic container to put our frog tubes in. It was really important to think about measuring. I did 60 centimetres and 40 centimetres, but I found halfway through that really I needed some shorter ones as well. So it's really good idea to design before you start cutting. I was able to cut some of the 60 centimetre ones down to 30 centimetre lengths to give me a good variety. I used an electric saw to help me cut down, but a hacksaw works just as well. Especially if you're going to do this project with kids, it might be really important to either pre-cut your tubes or use um, a non-electrical tool. I've got them all cut here and I was laying them out to see how they might fit in my container. I was looking at the sizes and the shapes and this is when I realised that I needed some different heights. You can see with my final product here that I did those 30 centimetre tubes as well, really helped give a variety of spaces. I had a bromeliad lying around that I finally got to plant and it looked perfect with my frog hotel here. So it's a really great opportunity to create frog habitats in your backyard. Thank you for joining me today for the What's in Your Backyard series and exploring how you can build a frog hotel. You can find more information on the Sydney Science Education website with other ideas about how to make a frog-friendly garden and bring lots of other natural wildlife into your backyard. Thank you.